Hey kids, Grandpa here. You know, as sailors, one of the things we have to do is really watch out for the weather. And right now, we got one nasty piece of weather hitting the East Coast. So, let me show you what I mean. Okay, guys. Well, here is Irma currently spinning out in the Atlantic, making her way in. Let's go ahead and first take a look at wind speed. Now, this is Ventusky, V-E-N-T-U-S-K-Y. See the name up here. You guys can all download this. And so, what we see here is we see it's got a pretty soft core, but then we see a lot of high-speed winds wrapping around that, up in that 60, 70, 80 mile an hour. So we're getting up into this higher echelon here for wind speeds. And then also let's take a look at waves that converts over. Now here you can see the wave heights. You can see some of these waves forming in behind the storm. These are 45 feet tall waves. Some of the islands that this is heading towards, like Anagata up here, these waves will completely wipe over the entire island. I don't think there's a single part of Anagata that's 45 feet high. So if a wave rolls in there, the hotel there in Anagata will be gone, the restaurant will be gone, the Loblolly Beach Bar and all that stuff that I spent so many times at, had so much fun, all of that's just going to get wiped away from the face of the earth. Right now, we're seeing a lot of heavy winds and disturbances here in Barbuda. Then it's going to go up and hit St. Martin, which is here. Then going on, it's going to run north and head up. But let's go ahead and put this in motion. Let's go back to wind speeds so we can get a better view of it. Let's track this as it moves up. Here we are in a couple hours, three hours, four hours. You can see how it's moving along. It's picking up speed. At this point, I think she's a Category 5, possibly Category 6 hurricane. Now, right now, Barbuda is being devastated with high winds just shredding the place, and the storm hasn't even gotten there yet. You see, we've got 40 and 50 mile an hour winds hitting there right now. As it gets closer, we're going to get up into these 65, 70, 80, 90 mile an hour winds coming. So, Barbuda, as everyone's trying to get a good night's sleep in Barbuda this evening, you can see it's just about a direct hit. Right there, Barbuda is being hit with 70, 80 mile an hour winds. Guys, that's just going to shred that island. There's going to be very little building standing after that. So as now we move on. We're now at Wednesday morning. As you can see here, 7 a.m. We're just, well, let me go back to about 5 a.m., I guess. You can see we're right over. This is St. Martin. Now, there's some cruisers, some, some guys that are uh, YouTubers that have a cruising sailing channel that are in there right now. So, they're going to be hit with some high winds. The places to be on this island is actually to anchor on this downwind side. So you've got the mountain kind of blocking some of the wind for you. But even then, you get some high winds coming down the sides of the mountain. So, and it's getting some protection here from this other island. But St. Martin's going to get hit pretty bad. All right. So let's go ahead and jump till 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I went too far. See, it's picked up speed now. Go back to noon. There you go. There's new. Here's poor. Here's little old Anagata. Let me scroll this down so we can get a better view of her. Here's little old Anagata right here. You can see 70, 80 mile an hour winds. But remember, we're dealing we're dealing with wave heights. So let's look at the wave heights going through there. These are. 30-foot waves that are going to roll up on Anagata and 30 feet, guys, there's, there's no point of that island that's more than 30 feet above the water surface. Anagata is just going to get destroyed. All the British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, this is, is running north of all of them. Even Puerto Rico, you can see San Juan starting to get 20-foot waves. 
Uh, this is at one o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Now that's my time. So up here in Alaska, that'll be a little different down there, but go back to wind speed. The storm tends to head almost due west, but it looks like it's getting a little northerly built in, which is good for the people in Puerto Rico. Get a little northerly and let it get away from the island. Now, right here, you can see San Juan still getting hit with 30 mile an hour winds, 25 to 30 mile an hour winds. Our wave speed going in through that area, 16, 18, 16 foot waves. So San Juan's going to get hit with some pretty big waves that are going to break over. But I do think the boats and stuff in the marinas there are going to be somewhat saved. Lots of rain, certainly lots of wind. Um, and boats that aren't well protected. In other words, you know, take the sails off, store them below. Get your dinghy and outboard motor secured and put away. Get all the hatches locked up. Those boats that are well tied, double up your lines to the docks. They're going to do well. The rest of them are, uh, are going to get trashed. Now, let's go ahead and move this down so we can get a little bit better. Let me back out here a little bit. Oh. There we go. Now you can see here's Puerto Rico. Here's the Dominican Republic in Haiti. Now, we're, this is uh, Turks and Caicos and then going up into Eleuthera and the Bahamas. And as you'll see here, as this storm moves along, it actually picks up speed moving to the east. I'm sorry, moving to the west. And uh, continues to be heading on a northwest path. So there it's just kind of stalled out for a few hours by Puerto Rico. No, well, it was showing in the modeling just a minute ago. But it seemed like it really picked up speed and then just sort of barreled. Eric starts. Starts rolling right on up. At this point, I think we have a Category 6 storm. Jump to 7 p.m. on Thursday. Now you see Turks and Caicos is just a direct hit. They're getting hammered again, guys. These are low-lying uh, sandy islands. They're not mountainous. They're very low-lying islands, and they're just going to get they're just going to get run over. Um, the loss of life and loss of damage in this area is going to be astronomical. Absolutely just astronomical. Let's shift this back down a little bit more. And let's, you'll see how this runs right up through the Bahamas. Just uh, 4 o'clock Friday morning. 8 o'clock Friday morning. 4 o'clock Friday afternoon. And you see there, it took a bit of a dip, started heading back down towards Cuba. Now look at that. We've got 100 mile an hour winds. This is category seven speeds, guys. Now we're up into category seven areas. 10 o'clock. Moving right up along the coast of Cuba. There's 1 a.m. Here we go, 7 a.m. So 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, this thing's going to be right on top of the Florida Keys. Four o'clock Saturday. Seven o'clock Saturday. You can see the wind speeds. 122, 126 miles an hour, 128 miles an hour, 129 mile an hour winds. And that's going right into the Florida Keys. And now it starts to turn north here, starts to move north, and it makes a direct hit into Miami. Guys, this is a major metropolitan area. This is a big city. This thing is going to go right in. To Miami, Fort Lauderdale. You got Miami right here. You got Fort Lauderdale up right there. This is a big populated area with millions of people in there. 
I know they're already evacuating the Keys. They better evacuate all of South Florida because this is going to get really nasty. Uh, here we are at 1 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. So it's going to be a lousy weekend in Florida, guys. Anyhow, I wanted to show you guys these models here on Vent you Sky, something that we track as sailors looking at the weather forecast and the models. Here we are now. We're, I mean, right there is Fort Lauderdale. We're hitting Fort Lauderdale. We've got 120 mile an hour winds. That's just going to devastate that area. Look at our wave heights. Go back to our wave heights. You've got waves coming in. You've got 30 foot waves coming in and hitting the coast. See that? Thirty-one, thirty-foot waves. That's just going to devastate this area. It's going to be nasty. I think this is the nastiest storm I've ever seen. Well, there you have it, guys. There's Irma. Probably the nastiest storm I've seen hit the United States in I don't know a decade or more. I've never seen anything like this. She's going to do a lot of damage when she comes up the coast. She's going to tear up Miami. Fort Lauderdale, the entire uh, eastern coast is going to get uh, a lot of heavy rain, a lot of heavy winds, and the uh, Florida coast is just going to get tore up. Uh, looks like she's going to run a little north Puerto Rico. They're going to get some heavy winds and rain, some big waves, but I think they're going to get pretty much saved. But, you know, in my sailing that I've done in my career, I've, I've spent a lot of time in, in the British Virgin Islands. Love those people, love those islands. One of my favorite spots to go is Anagata. Uh, I've got some real good memories of fly fishing on Anagata for some uh, for some bonefish and, and spending some time there at Loblolly Beach enjoying just a great day of snorkeling and staying there at the Anagata Reef Hotel and having dinner with them. They, they do this big lobster feast all the time. It's really cool. All those people are just going to get wiped out. I hope they're all evacuating and getting off that island because the size of the waves that are going to come through Anagata you know, 40, 50 foot away. There, there's nothing on Anagata that's 40 or 50 feet tall. Not even the rooftops of the buildings really run 50 feet tall. Maybe the hotel, which is the biggest structure, maybe it's 50 feet tall, but those waves are going to come through there and wipe that island out. Everything on that island is going to get destroyed. And not just there, but Barbuda is being hit really bad right now. St. Martin in that area is being hit. Um going to be a nasty storm. We're going to see a lot of loss of life and a lot of death. Um, what happened to Dallas is, uh, isn't going to be a drop in the bucket compared to what Irma's going to do. Now there's another storm coming in right behind her. Fortunately, it looks like that storm's going to spin off and, uh, and, and just spend some time out in the Atlantic and die, uh, hopefully, before, unless it you know decides to pick up on some of the slack from Irma and then come back in. But um, Scary times, scary times for sure. So for those of you that aren't on boats and aren't sailing, you know, count your lucky stars and, and let's be thinking about all those people and getting prayers out to all the ships and people out there in harm's way right now because this is going to get ugly, folks. This is going to get real ugly. So anyhow, this is Grandpa. Please do like and subscribe. We'll have more for you later. Bye.